Welcome to Walking by Faith, a radio ministry of Faith Walk Christian Center. I'm Pastor Scott, the host of our show. 2 Corinthians 5-7 says we walk by faith and not by sight. The purpose of this show is to give you a positive word in a negative world. Well, good morning, everybody. Praise the Lord. It's Friday, the end of the week. A lot of neat things happening around our community. One of those events we're going to be talking about a little bit later here today. Uh, a man that you've heard on the air, you've heard his commercials. In fact, you heard the one just right before this program, Steve Scott. Skyler is here in the studios with us, and we're going to talk with him in just a few moments, have him share some things on his heart. I just want to tell you a little bit about what we've, talking, what we've talked about all week, and that is with the Spirit Soul Body Ministry. There are going to be some giveaways uh, coming up here very soon for our Thanksgiving giveaway to families that are in need, and we'd like to encourage you to be a part of that. This Saturday, from 10 until 12 at the Jewel Food Store in the Cumberland Square in Bettendorf, there's going to be a, a, a stand. We're going to have a live remote there with the DJs that will be out from KFQC to help gather food for those that are in need in our community. If you'd like to be a part of that, come on out, shop at Jewel, go in and pick up your groceries, but then come on outside and drop something in the basket. Help us as we give out to these families that are in need. Then later that afternoon from 2 until 4, we're going to be over at the Jewel in, in Silvis on John Deere Road, right there across Town Square. It'll be at the Jewel on John Deere Road in in Silvis from 2 to 4, another live remote as we get uh, food gathered for those that are needy in our community. The giveaway is going to be the Tuesday before Thanksgiving. We've been able to receive 250 uh, wool blankets from CBN to give out to those families in need, along with much, much clothes that have been gathered from people in our area. So make yourself available and a part of it. Come out and join us from uh, 10 to 12 in Bettendorf and from 2 until 4 in Silvis at the Jewel Food Stores. Well, I want to read a scripture to you as we start today out of 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 2. It says, Preach the word, be instant in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. Steve Schuyler is here in the studios with us. And Steve, I ask you to come on our show today because we've got some news we want you to share with everybody. What's happening with you? I'm moving. You're moving yes. to where now? Up to Detroit, Michigan. This is Steve's last day here with us at KFQC and heading up to Detroit. What are you going to be doing up in Detroit? Well, uh, as some of you might know, right here at KFQC, I've been the production director since the station started in June. And as I go up to Detroit, Michigan, I'll be one of their five uh, production directors up there. They have a production director for each, a production person, I should say, for each salesperson. They call them master producers. Well, all this, all this work that's going to be going on, I know this is a good advancement in your career that you're able to be a part of. Uh, how did you hear about that type of a job? Well, there's at least uh, three or four different publications that come out, uh, some that we get uh, here at the station and others that I've had access to at my college that uh, let you know about job opportunities. Well, with the office of being a producer and making all these commercials and different things for Christian radio, what do you feel your ministry is? You know, when I, when I read this scripture about preach the word, do you feel that you're actually serving God by producing commercials, producing ads and spots that go on? How does Christian radio really minister to people? Well, it does it through, um, it's kind of a, a business attitude as far as selling the spots. But, of course, selling the spots keeps the ministry going as far as the radio station goes. And I think the radio station has a um, responsibility toward the community to lift up the name of Jesus and let people know that, hey, Christians do know what's going on. They do know that you need different services to be offered. So why not uh, promote good businesses that advertise with Christian radio? When you sit down and begin looking at a blank piece of paper and you've got to come up with a jingle, you've got to come up with some kind of a phrase about a business. You know, I know you went to uh, the Nazarene College over in Kankakee and spent time there. What, what kind of extra training do you feel that you've had in the Word to help you put this together with commercials? Boy, that's a hard question. Um, I don't know, just with the different... Uh avenues that I've been at as far as Christian radio and with the different experiences, just talking to people. That's that's been a lot of experience right there, just talking to people both both in the religious realm and in the secular realm, just to get an overall balance of 
of both things. You know, I think something that's important is, is people are listening to you right now. I know when I went to Bible college, one thing that uh, a lot of kids felt was they knew there was a call on their life to serve the Lord in some fashion, but they didn't know exactly how. They, they thought, well, maybe they had to all be preachers or they all had to be missionaries. What would you like to say to maybe someone who's listening today? Maybe they're on a break or they're out at college and they're listening to us right now. What would you tell them in finding out what their area of ministry is all about? Well, just make sure you're into God's Word and talking to your pastor about it. And um, don't just think that you have to be a preacher. But uh, I, I believe the Lord calls into other professions as well as into uh, the actual full-time service. Ministry itself is just basically serving people, right. no matter whether it's Christian music, uh, no matter whether it's uh, giving food and clothing out to people, whatever the job may be, even the job that you're doing right now. I know many of you that are listening. You call in, you say you're listening to us at the shop or at your desk there. You know, the job that you have is so very important. Not only does it meet the needs of your family, as you give to your local church, does that help also? But God uses you, no matter whether you're working in the shop or working in a business. Everything you do, we can do it under the Lord. What would you tell each of our listeners, Steve, if, if uh, you could be able to put it in your own words, what's their responsibility to Christian music, to radio? How can, how can they be a part of what's going on in our community? Well, just to make sure you're always listening and inviting your kids and others to listen as well. Um, Christian radio, of course, is based on God's Word, and that's going to be eternal. So why not listen to music that's going to last forever? And uh, truth is going to last forever. You know, a lot of people have used throughout the years the word that Christian music is the alternative to the world style of music. But in truth, what can we do as a Christian radio station to help make us the norm and the other people are the alternative? If you don't want to get with the right stuff, you're going to listen to the alternative, which is secular rock. How can we help promote Christian music with our kids, our teenagers? What are some avenues that uh, being uh, creative in, in your style of work that you have to do, what are some of the things that maybe we can do to help reach out to the teenagers and youth groups of our community? I suppose a lot is what uh, you're already doing in the way of a newsletter and in the way of uh, contacting churches to make sure that they know that we're around, that we're available on the dial, um, that we do care about them and would like to uh, help promote their church as well as help promote Christian radio in general. What about uh, now the new job here up in Detroit? What are some of the things that's going to be preparing you for? Are you going to be producing spots that are going to be used uh, nationwide on some of the big satellite companies, or, or what are you looking at? It's more or less just within the Crawford Broadcasting Company. It's a, a six-station company based out of Philadelphia. Um, this Detroit station is their, is their main station. They've had it for 30 years with more or less the same format up there. Uh, so they've, they've pretty well established what... Uh, mode I'm going into, so I have to relearn some things as far as uh, how they route commercials and that kind of uh, scheduling kind of things. Um, as far as nationwide, uh, it's a possibility they might use my voice as talent uh, for some commercials uh, with the other five stations. As master producer, I get to write the commercials and I get to de help uh, decide throughout my station and throughout the company who I would like to voice that commercial. So I suppose it goes either way. Now, your radio name, Steve Schuyler. Now, all of us around here know that that's not really your last name. What, what is your last name, Steve? My last name is Krampitz. Now, why did you come up with the name Skyler? Well, for one thing, sometimes it's hard for me to, for me to say my own last name, much less talk, <laughs> talk regular words. Uh, but I had trouble with it. It doesn't really uh, uh, come off the tongue as easy. Well, where did, where did you come up with the name Skyler? How did that uh, come together? Well, I don't know if you knew this about me, but I'm an avid basketball fan of uh, my university there in Kankakee. And one of our top, uh, I think it's uh, top basketball players there in the last uh, 10, 15 years was a guy by the name of Skylar Hasselbring. And I really just caught it of the name. It was also a, a street name of Tord College. Spelled a little different, but said the same. I just thought it sounded neat. So. Well, now, see, I always so thought that, you know, you had changed your last name just because, you know, you are still single. How old are you, Steve? 
I just turned 23. Yeah, All right, you're 23. Yeah. You know, I, I thought maybe you'd change your last name because so many of these other young gals in the community were always calling you and wanting to, you know, be a fan of yours and, and what you do with Christian music. Uh, you know, you don't no, no phone calls, just send money. I oh, say. is that? Okay. Yeah. Um, Steve is single. Uh, he went to the Nazarene University. He's a solid man of the word. Uh, you know, we tease him an awful lot about trying to get him married off before he left here. But, you know, you gals, if you're listening, you can still send a resume into him. We'll be glad to, you know, send those all up to Detroit and get that taken care of. Mm. No, I, I think one of the biggest things when I think of Steve and the work that he does, so much of the time he's behind the scenes, he's in his office writing up uh, commercials, getting things prepared. He has to put up with a lot of uh, a lot of us that maybe when he'd come out and ask for an opinion on things, we would give him some ideas, but then he has to go back in and sort through those to put them together to form a script and to come up with some kind of a product that's going to help sell our advertiser's product. Over in the book of James chapter 1 and verse 22, the the Bible says, but be ye doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving your own self. Steve Schuyler is a, is a man who is out there in the word of God. Whether he's studying for his Sunday school lesson, he would be preparing for the teenagers he was working with over at First Nazarene Church in Rock Island, or whether he was looking to encourage himself and be in the word. I think one of the things that impressed me the most in seeing the work that Steve does around here at the station is to know that he always goes back to the word that when times get tough uh, he had engine trouble had an engine that blew up on him this year i mean everything that could go wrong did go wrong but yet i always saw in steve's eyes the desire to look to god as his source and his strength no matter whether it was riding the uh, public bus for a while to get even down here to work no matter what it took why that car was being fixed for he kept his eyes yeah, yeah yeah kept his eyes on jesus so what we want to try to do this morning as we pray uh, we're very thankful that god brought you into our lives here because we know as the station opened up we depended so heavily upon you for your experience for your know-how and your desire to serve the lord with all of your heart it's important for us as we take this time to send you off that as we do as the word of god says we send you off with the blessing and the power of the lord jesus christ would you that are listening today would you join me as we pray right now for steve Father, I do thank you that as you send Steve up on this new mission, on this new job that you have for him, Lord, I just believe that you will open every door of possibility, that you'll give him a good, strong church there to be a part of, God, that will preach the word and encourage him as he gives out. For, Lord, we know how important it is that what we receive in our life, we know that's what we produce out. I'm thankful for all that you've placed in him from those of his parents and the word of God that was spoken into him there at his college and the word that was given to him even here while he was a part of this uh, Nazarene church in the Quad Cities in Rock Island. Lord, we just thank you so much that the word of God would be alive and real and vibrant in him as he begins to produce and bring the word of God out there in Detroit. We send him off with the blessing and the power of Jesus Christ knowing that you will use him, that as he is a doer of the word, you will always bring back blessings in his life we worship and praise you in jesus holy name we pray amen amen thanks for being with us here in the studio steve thanks for inviting me